It's a flyer with an eye-catching statement. Hey kids, let's have fun at After School Satan Club. The flyer tells parents their child will learn about benevolence and empathy, critical thinking, problem solving. Hey kids, let's have fun at After School Satan Club. A lot of people have said, is this a hoax? Is this for real? How can the Satan Club even be even realistic. The state of Pennsylvania recently rejected the club in its schools. While Satan clubs have popped up in other states like Illinois and Ohio, it's the first time the idea has found its way to North Carolina. They say it's a kid-friendly club. That's right, hard to believe, but that's exactly what they preach here, and this is the parental permission slip that they're handing out so your kid can participate. Here's the After School Satan website. They even have a children's book dedicated to this. Now, they say there are some wholesome activities and lessons to be learned, but others believe it has no place around children. Satan's not an evil guy. He wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. And by the way, there is no Science is important, so we understand the world. Satan looks for truth, let's help him, boys and girls. He'll always treat you equal, whether you're black, white, or gay. When all is said and done, Satan doesn't actually exist. He's an imaginary friend who can teach us how to live. It's not where we sit down and we talk about Satan and we talk about religion and we talk about all of those things. Actually, those are thrown to the wayside and they're based in science um, and more of cultural awareness. We're not actually talking about Satan and Satanism because we have no interest in converting. It's just that in our religion, science and reason is what is the most valued. Why well, call it the, the, the Satan after school program? Why don't you call it the circular program or the science program? Well, because we, we do want a, a shot at redemption for the name. We, we legitimately identify as Satanists. And even though we're non theistic, personally, that holds a lot of meaning to us. We're non-theistic, meaning we don't hold the supernatural beliefs or we don't endorse supernatural beliefs. We don't believe in a literal Satan, but we do, do view Satan as a literary metaphor that stands for, for us, a revolt against tyranny. And, and more specifically, in most cases, theocratic tyranny. The Moline Coal Valley School District is required to provide equal access to all groups. There's no point in calling up the principal there's no point in calling up the superintendent and berating them for allowing us in. It's the Supreme Court and it's our constitutional liberties that allow us to be there. There's a lot of people who express a lot of uproar about this and they go to the school board, they complain to the principals, they complain to the superintendent, but a school board cannot overturn the Supreme Court and well, there's actually, no point in harassing so, them. So, so could there be an I hate gays club or black people are inferior club? And the answer, of course, is no, because the community, and I'm not advocating for either one of those things, but the community has some say in what its kids are exposed to on government property, i.e. a public school. So, so you're just telling me that everyone's just kind of going along with it because Supreme Court. 